Waves are back with a new plug-in today, and I think you're really going to like it if you're a podcaster or someone who suffers from a lot of... Echo! Echo. Echo. Okay, so let's get into it. Clarity VX D Reverb and the Big Brother D Reverb Pro is now available. It's a brand new plugin from Waves, and I think you're going to like it. So it's using neural networks to identify the reverb or the echo in your recordings and remove it, uh, but in a really cool way I haven't seen done before. So here's a typical podcast that uh, we work on at MRC and edit on a regular basis. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're back for another episode of the Life Outside the Hustle podcast. I, I mean, it's not the worst recording you ever heard, but you definitely hear it's recorded in an office and there's some bounciness going on there's some vocals bouncing back at that mic and you know we could go through and do a bunch of tools i've got a load of tutorials on my channel on how to remove echo but this is just one plug-in with a big knob and a neural network that does it all so uh, let's run it here waves clarity vxd reverb and uh, it's at its default level, if I go to the default setting, it works on dialogue and you can say single stereo, but I'm actually gonna set it as a single mono track uh, to not confuse it and keep it really laser focused. And now as I increase this, listen to the difference. Hey, what's up everybody? We're back for another episode of the Life Outside the Hustle podcast. I am super pumped for this one. Today, I sit down with Brandon James Duncan. And let's switch it off as we go. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're back for another episode of the Life Outside the Hustle podcast. I am super pumped for this one. And you can hear the tremendous difference. Just one knob, the Waves neural networks are working away on processing that audio and getting rid of the reverb, the echo, cleaning up the microphone reflections. I think it works brilliantly. Okay, let's throw something else at it. This has got a bit more echo. Let's listen to this. In our podcast about the different and lower cost. Yeah, that's bad. Let's try this one out. So effects, and we're going to go to the waves, clarity, D reverb. And again, we'll start from default. In our podcast about the different and lower cost perspective that exists in China. You know what? For all that reverb, that's not actually that bad at all. In our podcast about the different and lower cost perspective that exists. I think the further I push that up in this instance, the more robotic the voice comes. So bear that in mind. But, uh, you know, around 30 to 40 percent. In our podcast about the different. And it's not bad. And I notice it's selected on stereo. So let's change to mono. In our podcast about the. And that's much better. Now, that it was doing something weird with the stereo there, but now it's sounding good. Let's push that up more. In our podcast about the different and low. And now let's A, B it. So with it on and off. In our podcast about the different and lower cost perspective that exists in China. I mentioned that China's lower cost. That's incredible, isn't it? And of course, there are different settings like Dialogue 2. In our podcast about. Give you a slightly different tweak. Might work better in some use cases. And Dialogue 3 plus noise reduction. In our podcast about the different and lower... So not only is it going ahead and moving the echo out of the way, but it'll also clean up a little bit of background noise as well. And let's be, f let's be fair here, we all need to get rid of background noise from time to time. It is worth, before I get onto my final example of how you can use the Clarity VX D Reverb plugin from Waves, um, it is important that I probably show you uh, the big brother and just show you some of the extra bells and whistles if you were to go ahead and say, I know what I'm doing, I'm not going to use the one knob thing, I'm going to go for D Reverb Pro. This has the one knob, but in addition to that, in our podcast about the dip, we get a really nice looking spectral display here of all the frequencies. And we can actually go through and increase or decrease the amount of reverb reduction by frequency. So let's just test it out and see what happens. In our podcast about the different and lower cost perspective that exists in China. I mentioned the China's lower cost perspective. Okay, so you can see how I could dial this in and you'll have seen in some of my previous videos when I talk about removing reverb and echo, it's a good idea to go through, scan through the frequencies and pick out the ones where you hear the most echo. Well, the Clarity VX D Reverb Pro is allowing you to do that all in one box with a load of other good stuff like tail smoothing, presence, uh, and even a limiter built in uh, at first glance. Really, really cool. It's got everything that the small one has got, but with a few extra bells and whistles if you know what you're doing. And over here, I've got a sung a cappella. Let's have a little listen to it. This is Mike Russell on musicradiocreative.com. 
So I might want to just reduce some of that reverb going on. Again, I'll go into the effects and Clarity VXD reverb and let's actually go to the default settings. And if we go down here, you'll see the singing vocals. Perfect in stereo. Excellent. Let's increase this and hear how the reverb reduces. This is Mike Russell on MusicRadioCreative.com. So you can hear actually when I play the tail of that. How it's bringing the reverb in and out. That's insane. Let's do that one more time. Come. Literally, as I move that knob up, it's taking the reverb out of those sung vocals. Now, obviously, in this instance, with that a cappella, that is a produced a cappella. It's had reverb deliberately added, but having the knowledge here that I can use something like Clarity VXD Reverb and take that reverb away if I need to for a different use case I might have for using those sung vocals, that is really cool. So if you're a podcaster, if you're a music producer, if you need to get rid of that annoying bouncy echo that just shouldn't be there, take a look at Waves Clarity VXD Reverb. You might well like it. If you decide to try it out, let me know how you get on in the comments down below. And always remember, I'm constantly doing videos on plugins, so if you've got a good one, shout me out about it and watch another video that's probably coming up here somewhere talking about other Waves plugins that I really like.